guys, welcome back to Ride with Sheridan. In today's video, we are going to the BBR World Finals for 2021. Savannah is going to be riding Lana and French Fry, and I'm going to be riding Bentley and Lucky. I'm sorry if I look a mess. I'm really tired. We had to get up early and so we could leave at 8 o'clock. And yeah, so we were leaving on time, but there is a slight issue. We forgot two extra winter blankets because it's going to get very cold in Oklahoma. <sighs> so, um, yay, cold weather. But my sister's mayor does like cold weather, so I guess that's a good thing. But we have hit a roadblock. Um, the guy that helps us out at our place is supposed to be bringing us some, um, some more blankies for the horsies. We're pulled over in a church church parking lot. We weren't even like five minutes from home and my sister texted, looks like the guy is pulling in right now to bring us our stuff. So yeah, um, great way to kick off the trip. So <laughs> yeah, so I guess let's just get into the rest of this vlog. That was a long intro. <laughs> Sheridan Shumpert. Sheridan Shumpert. Seven and it's Sheridan Shumpert of Moorville, Mississippi now. Good work. Sheridan Shumpert. Oh! Sheridan Shumpert of Moorville, Mississippi. Frank's looking hard. And Shumpert. Sheridan Shumpert. Moorville, Mississippi. MP Jet Wood will bring Sheridan Shumpert. Sheridan Shumpert. Champion. Yo, Sheridan. heard this weird like screeching noise it's okay Baxter we don't know what it is and I don't know if it's on the trailer or the motorhome but we were driving along and I heard this weird screeching so we are pulled over right now um, trying to figure out what the heck the problem is oh gosh um, yeah it's fine, okay? Everything always breaks when we go to this show. Last year, if you haven't seen that vlog, I'll leave it linked in the description. Our golf cart broke when we got there. Actually, it was our cricket. Our golf cart was fine. And now motorhomes and trailers. This is, this is fun. Okay, everyone. Um, here's the sitch. But luckily, the horses are in the other trailer. The other trailer's fine. It's just, um, this trailer is, um, this is, um, this is our current situation here. It is, um, very stressful. Look at, look at how it's, like, pulled the trailer up. Luckily, this trailer just has shavings and necessities. Our friends are literally right behind us. Like, we saw them go by and went, wonder if that's them. It was. And they're going to come back for us because they're nice. Uh, here are the ponies. So it wasn't the trailer with the ponies in it. The ponies are here. Ponies are fine. It's just our um, equipment trailer. So yeah, it's great. So this is how you know it's gonna take a while. We just unloaded all the ponies off the trailer yeah, and are letting really them not. graze and chill so out. Um, I don't uh, know what is going on. It's really stressful. Um, there were no horses on the trailer that broke, so that's really good, that's great. Okay, so Daddy is driving the Cricket on a road. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. I think he, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, Lucky, geez, thanks. Where is he going? Here's Pepper. Baxter's over there. Hey, where did you learn to drive? In all seriousness, we are in Hazen, Arkansas. We have been here since I recorded the clip telling you guys we were break down. 11.55, it's like 2 o'clock now, so yeah, we've been here a hot minute. Um, luckily, the horses are already on their way, so yeah. It's just me, Dad, the motorhome, the supply trailer, and the doggos. Baxter's um, going to drive us home, or not home, but Baxter's going to drive us to the fairgrounds, it looks like. 
Where did you get your license from, mister? Who certified you? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the giant crack in the motorhome window. What? Said through the giant crack in the motorhome window. Yeah. We ever gonna get that fixed? I'm planning on. Why? Why you bother me? Yeah, I guess it's some stop and get to the wolf.
gonna just do a little recap here. So obviously we had our breakdown, but we made it here. Uh, <laughs> we made it there with plenty of time, plenty of time, everything went great um, after that breakdown. And we had to like, obviously the horses went on to Oklahoma with my mom and my sisters. Me and my dad and the dog stayed behind to wait for the mechanics so that the trailer could get fixed. Then we went on to BBR. Me and Savannah ran in June North. We had some okay runs, you know, they weren't bad. And then let me just do my math. Oh, yes, I ran in the youth race, yeah, the multi-race in barn eight. I ran Bentley and Lucky, and I think Lucky was fifth in the 2D or six, something like that. And Bentley ended up first in the 3D, which is what won me is this buckle that I'm wearing right here. Um, you guys saw it in the video, so there's no need for me to show it to you, but it is this buckle right here. Bentley won it. And then we have the shootouts, which, oh. Savannah hit the first barrel on both horses in the exact same way, leaving the first. So that was a bummer, but you know, <laughs> it was what it was. Then we ran in barn six. Now Bentley was like, I think 20 something horses away from qualifying in the 3D. So not bad. Lucky also made a really good run. Yeah, I was super proud of them too. Also super proud of Lena and Fritz Ryan. They did awesome. So, uh, yeah, so that was the trip. But here's the biggest part. This actually came in the middle of the week, but I was saving this for the end because it's just, it's the best part. Okay. So if y'all remember Minnie, or slick friend Tramosa, she is a pink and ruby buckle horse that my sister was asked to ride because someone saw her um, riding two horses back to back in the BBR finals last year. That vlog and the pink and the ruby buckle vlogs will be linked down below. She would, actually I don't even think there is a ruby buckle vlog. I don't think I vlogged that. Anyway, Savannah was riding her. They did great together. And so my parents bought her. Oh my gosh. And so guess how they tell us? They decide to tell us by saying, um, okay, someone's calling and, or texting and saying that our horses are down in their stalls. And so we were freaking out. So we ran over there and all our horses were fine. So dad goes, I don't think this is our number, but we went on and walked to the number of the stall and she was there. The owners were there. So of course we had a bunch of fun the rest of the week taking care of the horse and you know, um, being with the owners because they are very close friends. It was so much fun. You guys saw our reaction. We freaked out. <laughs> and the woman goes, only four months late for Christmas, right? Oh my gosh, you guys. That was the highlight of the trip. So, do not forget to leave a like. I think I already said that. <laughs> And remember, ride with your heart, and I hope you had fun on your ride with Sheridan. Also, don't forget, I am on TikTok, at Ride with Sheridan YT. I am on Stall High. If you don't know what Stall High is, it's basically equine um, social media, Facebook type thing. So, I'm at Ride with Sheridan, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!